Let's go all in for me. Hold on, hold on. How you doing? Hey, Biggie. Turn your news. You familiar with that one? Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, I found out yesterday you lived in Turner News Territory. I was like, oh, I guess I better go in there and uh, talk to him. Tell me, uh, I'm not kind of familiar with last year. What, what, you were registered last year? Yeah. What, what happened last year? Uh, I got two staph infections in my knee. I got a staph infection in my knee and okay. my sophomore year. So okay. I had to get surgery and then didn't work, so I had to get surgery again. So you had to stay, so you had to stay out there last year? Yeah, I was pretty much out there. How, how, how tough was that sitting out last year? After, uh, after your first year, you were pretty successful. Yeah, uh, you know, it was tough after, you know, wrestling so well for two years. Um, and then, you know, I happened to sit out a year, but it taught me a lot about, you know, more about uh, being a student of the sport and really studying film and uh, helping other guys out, which just kind of helped me out. So, you know, it was really beneficial to me in the end. So then coming into this season, of course, you, you had a... You had a a different mindset, I guess, about things. You, you were a better student of the game, as you, as you said. Tell, tell me about that coming into this season. What was it? What was it? Yeah, I mean, how much did it help you? Uh, yeah, like my technique, I just felt was, um, you know, way better this year than it was, you know, in my two pre or my first two years. Um, so, you know, helping, you know, that helped me a lot. And also, when I was looking back at my matches, I knew what to look for a lot more than I did previously. So I was better able to kind of break down my tape and my uh, competitions tape. You were uh, number one seed as a freshman, I believe, right? Sophomore, sophomore, third, my freshman year. Third, okay. So you've had some uh, experience being seeded and you know ha coming and having pressure, being the number one seed, winning a lot of close matches. Do you think that uh, that was weighing on you a little bit? Um, you know, I knew it was gonna be close matches. Uh, I wasn't really looking to wrestle 22 minutes yesterday, having two full overtimes, <laughs> but. Um, you know, I knew that um, it was going to be a close match, and I knew the pressure I was going to be on me, and I tried to kind of keep that out of my mind as much as possible. It's hard to do, but, you know, the more I was able to keep that pressure out of my mind, the better I wrestled, and I was kind of able to do that in the third period a little better in the finals than I did in the first period, and I was able to kind of create a scramble there. All right. Coming out and being able to, you know, really take it to Navajkov and not, you know, have it go over time, how important was that in the finals? Uh, yeah, I was looking to, um, you know, only have a seven-minute match, and, uh, uh, you know, that was real important to me. I didn't want to kind of drag it on, and I really wanted to start pushing the pace. And, you know, once I broke through that pressure a little bit the first period, I was able to really start pushing the pace. How's your knee? Uh, my knees are right. My ankle's uh, a little sore right now. That was with uh, the limp. That's what you're hitching yeah. your get along as? Yeah, I kind of. Uh, when he was picking me up one time, I kind of stepped inside of his foot. He was outside of mine, so my body kind of fell over my ankle. It was a loud pop. I think it's just a sprain, but. It still hurts. I was having trouble picking them up at the end. Do you think the ladies in Ann Arbor are going to know about that, is that, uh, that, that faux convertible you have that is now the NCAA champions faux convertible? I don't know. I hope so. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, I just can't. Nah. You know, I got a great girlfriend. So. <laughs> yeah. How relieved are you then with everything that's happened here? With This has been your expectation of what you're in. It's over. You want it. You got what you came here to do. Uh, you know, it's, it's a big relief, I think, to come and win uh, my first national title. But... Uh, Again, you know, I have, to, I have another year, so um, i got to start preparing again for next year.